<laughs> oh god man I never tell anybody how much I secretly love to rock in the Valiant universe get out of here come on I'm just reading peace come on what the hell where's Ghost Avengers leave me alone while I'm reading to rock what's up ghouls and fools and fans of tools it's your buddy Dave with the West Coast Avengers. Uh, it's Saturday and I'm coming to you after hitting a garage sale early in the morning. I found it last night, very late last night, and the listings had comics. So I emailed the person just thinking like, hey, do you have a little comics? Do you have a lot of comics? I usually don't like to waste my time if it's like, oh, I've got four issues of Archie. Uh, and the person did get back to me and said, a bunch. Left open to interpretation. I got up this morning. I left my house pretty early and I started driving. Uh, it's about 30 miles away in Bonnie Lake, Washington. And uh, it started raining, but it was just drizzling. So I'm like, oh, I'll just keep going. And I, <laughs> I get to the address and there's nothing going on. There's no signs. Uh, and I quickly open my email up. And the guy had emailed me about 20 minutes prior and said it's canceled because of the rain. So I pull over. So I email him and I say, hey, uh, I just passed your house and I just saw the email. Is there any way that I could come look at the comics anyway? And I sat in my car for like five minutes and he replied. He said, sure. So I roll up to the house and I uh, met the gentleman. He told me that his sister's, this was his sister's comics. Talking to this gentleman was like talking to somebody who has perpetually had 10 cups of coffee at all hours at all days. He was just very, ooh, ooh. And then I met his sister, and his sister was the same way. It was a, a little jarring. Uh, I love caffeine, and I'm a very energetic person, but not like that. So I took a quick look at everything, and I said, you know what, how much for everything? And we went back and forth for a second. We came to a price. I bought it all. I didn't see everything that's in here. I thought it would be fun to do another live unboxing uh <laughs> it's more fun that way didn't have to spend a ton of money and i everything most everything is in bags and boards and looks pretty good so let's start uh we will start with this pile of comics that i will not flip through that is all water damage but what, what do you what do, do you when do silver, silver surface comes, 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 comes you've got to call the this you've got to call the this uh there is some silver surfer in this water damage pile I mean, nothing too good in here. Just a couple of DC books, uh, this wizard tribute to the death of Superman, and there's two or three Silver Surfers in there. So that's an acceptable loss. <clears throat> All right, let's start with this short box. Bruce Lee, number one. Not familiar with this comic. Already in love with it. Uh, ooh, Cloak and Dagger, number one. So it looks like there's a bunch of number ones in here, which is great. Uh, Kitty Pride and Wolverine, number one. A bunch of Silver Surfers, uh, no bags, uh, no boards on this, but right now, none of the key issues, number 25, 28, 22, 30, 36, oh, there's a great one, a little banged up, but uh, still not in terrible condition, number 35, 39, 38, looking for that first Infinity Gauntlet one would be a nice one 30 33 20 lots of silver surfer i love it i do love it some more silver surfer number 19 and 27 some demon so clearly a collection from the 80s 90s uh could be some really good stuff in here 354, Hulk 354, need a 340, some Superman, Back from the Dead, Death of Superman, yada yada, the, the typical, typical 90s stuff, Kikusan, Air Cell, some Air Cell, this is all kind of banged up, ooh, a poly bag, Return of Superman, big dollar book right there, oh, there we go, first big book. Infinity Gauntlet number one. Let's check the condition on that baby. Nice, beautiful copy. A newsstand. Arguably one of the best 
crossover events in all of comics history. Um, inspiration for so much, but really what put... Oh, no. Oh, n well, we're going to cut that out. <sighs> Mother f Classic X-Men number three. Kind of looks like it might be water damaged. Yeah, it's a little banged up. Amazing Spider-Man number 375. Holographic cover. Crappy condition. Ooh, some Binjack number one chromium cover. Here we go. Classic X-Men number one. Kind of banged up. Marvel Holiday Special number one. Ooh, Sleepwalker number one. You know, unfortunately, sometimes when you buy stuff and you don't get to look at every single book, you know, people don't always take care of their books. Somebody resells, it's tough uh, when you find some of this stuff and it's it's not in resellable condition. Garbage. Some more dirty, kind of beat up comics. This will go in a different place. I'm really looking forward to going through this stuff here, though. Because it seems like it's in it's in better condition. Punisher Annual, uh, Daredevil Annual, bunch of Dark Horse Terminator books that I don't know much about. Some more Silver Surfer twenty nine. Well, the first Terminator Dark Horse issue. All right, so this was just the first kind of like free floating pile of stuff I looked through. Uh, and everything else was in this little tote. Let's go and start here. Ooh, wet works. So it looks like there is some order to this W stuff. Um, just out of curiosity, I want to open up this Wild Wildcats number one and see the condition. It's not an expensive book, but it's in good condition. So maybe the stuff that's bagged and boarded is in overall just better condition wild star wonder man totally alphabetical order uh, a couple of x-force number ones three million copies of these exist oh eight million copies of this exist x-men number one the famous jim lee connecting cover but what's cool about these their newsstands they're a lot harder to find believe it or not even for a book like this uh closing out we've got the rest of the x-men number ones and I believe this one, which is the special edition, the, the whole cover, I believe this is the hardest one to find in newsstand, and I think it holds some, some decent value. Uh, oh, wow. This is a beautiful copy. X-Men Adventures number one. Recently a super hot book because they're bringing back the X-Men animated series next year, which is great because the X-Men animated series is arguably one of the best cartoons ever. Uh, all right, here we go. We got an X-Men and Alpha Flight number one, X-Men Micronauts number one, X-Men 2099 number one, X-Men Unlimited one. So this is uh, this person just collected number ones. Oh, uh, so we've got uh, Morbius number one sealed and some more X-Force number one sealed. And uh, no Deadpool card on that, but can't hurt to always have more X-Force number ones. <laughs> Uh, Blade the Immortal, number two. So now we're moving into the... Oh, jeez. Some Crow uh, issues, but not the Crow number one. I would love to have one of those. I actually collect the Crow, and I have a two and a four. But uh, still hope. Some more Crows. Oh. It's so weird. These are all issue number twos. No number ones on the crow. What does that mean? Does that mean that maybe this person has their issue number one somewhere else? The, the brother said that he thinks that there's another box of comics. So he'll he'll shoot me an email if he finds it. More number two issues. Uh, Fantastic Four X-Men number two. Ninjack number two. Power Girl number two. Ravage 2099 number two. You get a sense when you start buying collections like this. You get a sense... Of how this per of how the person collected or what is missing that might still be around somewhere I'll so take this one out because this looks to be promising uh, just with the letter P that's what I meant not profit so profit number one Punisher holiday special number one a lot of new stands in here ravage 2099 number one Robin two number one 
Satan 6 number 1. So obviously a lot of 90s. And Savage Dragon number 1. Uh, Shadowhawk number 1. And for my friend Max Sterling, another Shadowhawk 2 number 1. Maybe we'll get a spawn what number 1 in here. Newsstand. Shaman's Tears number 1. And we'd be here somewhere. Oh, Silver Sable number 1. Here we go. So Silver Sable number 1. But even better, Simpsons number 1 Newsstand. Super rare, not polybagged. This would definitely be a book worth getting graded. Uh, Simpsons number one in a 9.8. Newsstand, I could see it fetching several hundred. Not a 9.8 contender, but still a beautiful book nonetheless. And a hard book to find in a newsstand. And here we go. Sleepwalker number one newsstand. Todd McFarlane Spider-Man number one newsstand. Happy to, oh, there we go. Spider Man 2099, number one newsstand. Another book, very hot. Uh, great to have in a newsstand. Arnold T2, newsstand. I'll be back. Get in the chopper. Wrong movie. Oh, man. This could be the best book that I would ever hope to find in a lot like this. You might not be ready for this, but. Tarak number, number one. one. The Rock the Dinosaur, Dinosaur Hunter. Hunter. This one's this for, one's you, for Joe. you, Joe. Sorry, 2099 Unlimited. Number one. First appearance of uh, Hulk 2099. Union number one. Both versions. Newsstand and direct. Holographic and non. A Violator number one. It's too bad there's no spawn number one. Another nice couple of books. Warlock and the Infinity Watch number one. And Warlock Chronicles number one. There's always going to be value in buying collections. And even though a lot of this stuff is garbage and image comic stuff, newsstands, rare versions, stuff like that, they fetch a premium for, there are collectors out there for everything. And it's fun to do this. It, it really is. Like it wasn't too much money, a couple hundred bucks. Uh, the Wedding of Dracula, number one. <laughs> Eternals, but the wrong Eternals, number one. Falcon, number one, the first uh, limited Falcon series. Fantastic Four and the X-Men, number one. Genetics, ooh. It looks like a, a handful of Gen 13 number ones. I believe there was 12 covers. Uh, but J. Scott Campbell, Jim Lee, Brandon Choi, all uh, all group, all classic artists from that image era. Uh, here's some more Gen 13 number ones. Guess they were really going for it on that. Uh, Green Lantern, Emerald Dawn 2, number one. The Infinity Crusade, number one. Oh, and Amazing Spider-Man, number one. Milestone edition. Sam Keith, goodness. Max, number one. Oh, Midnight Suns, number one, with a great Mark to share a cover. Love that cover. Uh, don't think I ever read Midnight Suns Unlimited, but no better time than the present. Marvel Masterpieces, I guess they would just call it the collection number one. Another Morbius number one. Morbius coming into theaters next week. Super Pro! Super Pro. Yeah, yeah, Super, Super Pro, Pro number, number one. one. The, NFL the NFL and Marvel, Marvel Comics, Comics team, team up for football. football. Nightwatch number one. Nova number one. And a pit number one, Dale Keown. Alright, so we've gone through a couple letters of the alphabet. A couple letters, but not enough. Looks like this is a X box. <laughs> Xbox, you get it? Stupid video game system that I don't like anymore. I'm a PlayStation guy now. All right, looks like we're starting with X. X Factor. Uh, X Factor 53, so a little run. It looks like X Factors in the high, the high 50s, which I don't think really have any value. Now we're on the X Force stuff. X Force uh, three. For all newsstands still, uh, five, six, seven, ten, nineteen. There's another little banger. X Men number four, first appearance of Omega Red newsstand. X Men number seven and eight, and X Men Prime. Oh, that's a clear chromium cover. This could get interesting. New Mutants thirteen. New Mutants twenty nine. New Mutants eighty eight. New Mutants 89. So 88 would be the, f yeah, second appearance of Cable, second cover of Cable. 
Uh, whoa, 91. Guys, I'm nervous. It just jumped from 91 to 95. 95. 96. 97. New Mutants number 98. First appearance of Deadpool. Boom. Fuck. Wolverine. And it's a newsstand. Oh, wow. This is a fucking great copy. Not a 9.8, but nothing wrong with it. A little bit of a spine roll. But this is a New Mutants 98 first print, first appearance of Deadpool. into the right bag and board the right tape painters tape and there she is and we close it out on the new mutants front with 99 and 100 so a really nice tight run there really good condition um, and then we go back into it with some shadow hawk yay Oh, here's number twos. Okay, so uh, Spider-Man 2099, number two. Wildcats, number two, newsstand. And there's two copies of them, so that's pretty dope. Oh, second appearance of Deadpool, newsstand. X-Men number two, X-Men Alpha Flight. Okay, so this person's collection is just kind of all over the place on how they collect it. Small runs here and there. And then number ones and number twos, but separated from each other. However you want to collect is however you want to collect. There's no wrong way to collect anything, whether it's comics, cards, records. Everybody does it a different way. Uh, Magic number one, Airman number one, and Deathmate number one. I'd love to see some spawn in here, but I feel like I already passed that chance. Bloodshot number zero. Oh, we're, we're now we're going into zeros. Cyberforce number zero. This is a weird one. Kitchen Sink doing the crow. Never saw that before. Gen 13, number zero. We, won't, we don't give credence to this. All right, fine. I'll give credence to the Exo Man Award Hero. Just because it's a Joe Quesada cover. It's a good one. Alpha Flight, number one. Looks like a nice copy. Nice copy of Darkhawk, number one. A book that I, kind of when I got back into comics for the third time, I wanted to own a really nice copy. And that looks really nice. Darkhawk was one of my favorite characters growing up. and He got a lot of flack, a lot of hate. Uh, Deathlock special number one. Deathmate Black. First appearance of Gen 13. A Savage Return of Dracula. Some more Deathmate. This is the stuff that I don't care about. Another Deathheads 2 number one. Oh, Doom 2099 number one newsstand. Once again, tough to find those in a newsstand in high grade. Uh, Double Dragon number one newsstand. Doctor Strange Ghost Rider newsstand. This person, it's funny because when you think about it, right, you buy newsstand comics, so you're not buying them from a comic shop, but yet this person definitely took the care to go to a comic shop and buy bags and boards. Like I said, no wrong way to collect. All right, looks like we're going to hit the last box. Looks like uh, some X-Men classic, which is also kind of funny. Here we go, X-Men Classic number 57. Not a number one, two, or zero. Ooh, this could get good real quick. Uncanny X-Men 217. Uncanny X-Men 258. Uncanny X-Men 260. Uncanny X-Men 261. Uncanny X-Men 262. Ah! Uncanny X-Men 264. Uncanny X-Men 270, part of the Extinction Agenda. Uncanny X-Men 271. Oh, well now we're going back. All right, it's bouncing around. Uncanny X-Men 182. Uncanny 300, holographic cover. Oh, great Jim Lee book here. Uncanny 272. Always hated this cover. Uncanny 273. 274. 
277. Hey, there's my boy right there. This is a shout out to my boy Angel. Angel. First appearance of Bishop, Uncanny 282 and Uncanny 283. Uh, and then 297. So, not bad. Uh, close out with a bunch of uh, classic X Men's 58. But these are great because uh, they do reprint old X Men's, but you get a Mike Mignola cover. And you really can't beat Mike Mignola doing X-Men classic covers. I believe there's also John Bolton backup stories in here too. So a bunch of classic X-Men. Then it goes back up. We do five. Uh, the classic Art Adams covers. I love these. Uh, uh, Ten. Great Juggernaut cover. And then 19 and 28. That was a hell of a buy. That was a smart buy on my part. Only seeing some of it. But, but like seeing enough that I was okay with taking a chance. Uh, you know, sometimes, to tell you the truth, sometimes it's smarter to take the chance. So, a little recap. Bought that collection this morning. Um, came home, and you get to see it as I get to see it. Got a New Mutants number 98. And it's funny because most of uh, my friends, and we've talked about this, that was a book that not only was it a goal for me to find, but it's something that I've wanted for a while. And it was a goal for me to find at a garage sale. Like I passed up on buying graded copies. I passed up buying on uh, ungraded copies just because I knew that I would be able to find that book. It's a little bit tougher to find though. Probably the most popular modern character in comics. Um, Deadpool had his resurgence in comics and then obviously reached to new levels when they, you know, Ryan Reynolds did the movies, rightfully so. Great movies, great character. When you see this cover, you know who that is on the front cover. And if you know anything about comics, you know that that's a first appearance. Just stoked to have found that in this collection. We'll probably just sell everything else and keep that. And I think that's a great strategy because this is something that I've wanted. It's something that I'm stoked that I found. The rest of the stuff, I'll get it again. No big deal. Nothing I need to keep. Maybe this Darkhawk number one, too. Thanks for joining. Like, follow, subscribe. Watch all my videos if you can. Watch them to the end. I got all my links below. Uh, you can check out my Instagram where I do claim sales once a week on Wednesday. West Coast Wednesday. What not. I do sales once every couple weeks. Uh, my eBay, my Mercari, Dave Korea's art store, the West Coast Avengers. Thank you again, always and forever for checking out the show. I try and change it up. We got a great episode coming next week, so stay tuned. We're going to deep dive into a Friends collection that's mind-blowing. And uh, we'll see you on the next West Coast Avengers. Rest in peace, Taylor Hawkins. The Hawk.